Hey Sagittarius, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general tarot reading for July. And this is for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This could be a love-based connection, business partnership, romantic connection, whatever, you know, take it how it resonates, okay? It could be a friend. So Sag, let's see what's going on. Your bonus extended reading for July. What is this person not communicating at this time? It is up on Vimeo. The link is in the description box. All right, so let's jump right in. Messages for Sagittarius. If you want a personal tower reading, all the details are in the description box. I offer them video recorded as well as through Etsy message. All right, Sagittarius, the biggest challenge for you guys is the King of Swords. So the challenge could be getting some kind of communication from someone. I'm seeing that maybe communication has not been open. Uh, maybe there hasn't been open dialogue between you and this individual, okay? There could be uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's a need to be honest, to be truthful, to be upfront. And maybe someone hasn't been that with you. There could be also energy of you finding out more information, right? So let's see. In the recent past, we have the Fool card, the Four of Swords, and a Judgment in Reverse. So it definitely feels like a new opportunity, an opportunity was presented, and it feels like someone here was uh, putting it off, putting off making an, a, an important decision, a big decision. The judgment in reverse feels like someone was hesitant on taking action here with you, Sagittarius. And it feels like with the full card, someone really put themselves out there. And it feels like, you know, maybe even had to take a risk, you know, there was a risk involved. Someone may have made a sacrifice in order for the new beginning to happen. And it feels like someone here just didn't act on it. Okay, we have the energy of the Four of Swords. So this could be someone that you've been on a break from. Maybe again, you guys, you know, have, haven't talked in a while. Maybe you guys got reconnected. The Four of Swords, the energy of like trying to find peace of mind, get clarity, get insight. It could be a healing energy, okay? So some of you guys, you know, you were maybe in that Four of Swords energy after, okay, the situation or maybe before um, this opportunity, okay? So it just really depends. But it feels like someone here has been doing a lot of thinking, maybe spending a lot of time with themselves, you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay, we're going to find out more why this opportunity here may have been presented, but someone wasn't acting on it. Or someone may have made a bad decision regarding it with the judgment in reverse. All right, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Four of Wands in reverse. It definitely looks like someone here was playing around here sagittarius with you i feel like they were not taking this connection serious they were not taking you serious there's a very immature energy so with the knight of wands this could look like someone here just in and out of your life no direction no plan no real intention and it feels like there isn't a desire for something more you know you sagittarius you may have wanted a relationship or some kind of partnership or companionship you may have wanted someone more reliable and I feel like you didn't get that because the four wands in a verse is speaking about some kind of downfall in a home. It speaks about maybe a marriage here that's crumbling or something just not being together, especially on the home front, right? It's domestic disharmony. It's it's a lack of stability and structure and security. So someone here definitely wasn't bringing you what you needed them to bring you, okay? So let's take a look at your energy. Eight of swords and a nine of wands. Now, I'm seeing the energy of you being very much in your head about this. There's a lot of anxiety and fears and stress that you're feeling right now. And a lot of you, you're not really sure what to do about the situation. The Eight of Swords, you know, you, you got your hands tied. You got your eyes blinded. You may not know um, where things are going to go and how this is all going to play out. But one thing's for certain, I, uh, the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, is the energy of not really giving up. I feel like a lot of you be willing to fight for this before you just throw in a towel and say, that's it. So the Nine of Wands, I do feel like this is something that you're really passionate about. You may feel very strongly for this person, feel strongly for the connection, where you be willing to give it one last try before just literally letting it all go. So give me the energy of this person. Five of Wands in a verse, the Strength, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords in a verse. This could be a Leo. Now, the energy of this person, Sagittarius, I'm seeing the energy of um, deception, perhaps. The Seven of Swords could be lies, trickery, going behind your back, being sneaky. Um, I feel like, Sagittarius, you can't entirely trust this person. I think that's why they came across with the Knight of Wands in a verse, right? Very inconsistent, not really loyal, not really faithful. 
Now, the energy is saying that this person could be afraid. There could be something here where they're having, there's insecurities or second thoughts um, that they're not telling you. They're not sharing this with you. The Page of Swords and Verse, there could be a lot of things they're not sharing with you or not telling you. And it feels with the Five of Wands and a Verse, it feels like maybe they're not telling you because they know you wouldn't receive it well or it wouldn't sit well with you right it would create some kind of conflict or struggle or confrontation between you and them and this could be someone who's avoiding confrontation right now so we're going to see um, where this can go the seven of swords again is the energy of lying cheating deceiving so this could be someone here who's purposely not moving towards you because they know they're in the wrong you know they see uh, their wrongs and they know what they did to you so they may not be speaking or they may be holding back in terms of the outcome, we have the Eight of Cups, High Priestess in a Verse, and the Knight of Swords. So coming into the near future, it does look like there's going to be some kind of dialogue, communication, or conversation. It even looks like with this communication, it could be something being revealed to you. Something being um, revealed that you didn't know about, something that was hidden from you. The High Priestess could be anything, but something here that was kept from you in some way that you had no idea about. That is coming out, okay? The veil is coming off, and it feels like with the Knight of Swords, it's going to allow you to move forward. After you find some kind of truth, it's going to allow you to move forward in some direction. Now, the Eight of Cups is here. We're going to have to clarify. The Eight of Cups could be someone having to walk away from something here that brought them a lot of hurt and pain, disappointment, right? The Eight of Cups is, you know, in, in, typically in search of your Ten of Cups, right? So there could be a situation you're having to leave behind, maybe the emotions of it all, maybe something that didn't go your way, something that left you heartbroken. That could be something you're having to let go. Um, or you may be letting it go with finding some kind of information, maybe clarity, getting some more, um, maybe something that hasn't been revealed, okay? You're getting clarity and answers about it. Therefore, you're having and you're able to walk away from something here. All right, so Sagittarius, let's jump right in. Clear messages for Sagittarius. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus extended reading. What is this person not communicating? That is up on Vimeo for July. All right, the King of Swords, crossing the King of Swords and the Six of Wands. So there is an element of wanting to be victorious, right? The situation even, you know, you guys aren't talking, you're not communicating, there's been some kind of disconnection. The Six of Wands is wanting to achieve, wanting to be recognized, wanting to be seen. So you may be dealing with someone who, you know, does want your recognition, even if, you know, right now you're not giving it to them. They may be wanting your your. Um, your praise they be wanting your attention and you may even be receiving receiving attention from this person so we're going to see how that plays out all right give me the recent past we have the four of swords the fool we also have the world in reverse the six of swords in reverse with the high priestess in reverse so definitely secrets and i feel like there was something that may have been hidden that also may explain why someone here was putting off making a big decision the world in reverse with the fool here i even feel like an opportunity was presented but this person wasn't ready for it because it was stuck in a previous cycle i'm seeing the energy of some kind of unfinished business from a past connection or past relationship and that may have really um made something not be able to move forward at the time with regard to you Sagittarius I'm seeing the energy of someone may have needed a break may have needed some downtime some space for themselves because we have the six of swords and a verb so something here feels like from the past was not resolved some kind of conflict something here that they never truly got a chance to address and it feels like they can't seem to move on or move forward with this new opportunity until that situation is taken care of and squared away. So that could be something you didn't know or didn't realize, that Piscean energy with the high priestess. There's something, things that you don't know about this person. So give me the energy of the Knight of Wands in a verse. Why are they in that Knight of Wands? Eight of Pentacles in a verse, three of Wands, and the Star. So, yeah, just as I was saying, I mean, there's the energy of the Knight of Wands here where this person isn't taking the action you want them to take, but there's some kind of waiting energy here. The Three of Wands, you know, it's about waiting for your ships to come in, and it feels like at the, at the current moment, things aren't really coming in, right? Nothing is really moving, nothing is progressing. Um, and it may look like this person's just not interested, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It may look like they just don't care, um, they're not thinking about you, but that's not necessarily true. We do have the energy of some healing taking place with the star. This could be an Aquarius. There's healing, there's recovery, there's making amends. The star is hopes and wishes, right? Dreams coming true. So it feels like even though things aren't really really where you want it to be, especially regarding the home or family, four wands, it does feel like there's something here that is being 
um, rebuilt or mended or healed um, behind the scenes. And you may not be aware of this, right? Sagittarius, this could be something that's happening in your person's energy. There's also energy here of your person really still having hope that they can make something happen, even if it hasn't been moving forward in a really long time. Um, the, the three wands in a verse, even though maybe they haven't been in your life or been active in your life or showing interest. So give me the eight of swords, nine of wands and your energy, Sag. There's a lot of overthinking about this emperor, like energy, maybe someone here that you thought would be the person that you'd be with, that you'd move forward with, you have a home, a family with, but it feels like they've disappointed you. There's the energy of the emperor in a verse where they have not been taking, taking control of the situation, but they've been doing nothing at all. Um, let's get one more card here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? There's stress, anxiety, um, Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys are very stressed about receiving communication from this person or you you extending yourself in communication. Page of Pentacles. It feels like there's a lot of overthinking and frustration about what it would look like or if you were to reach out, would this person receive it, you know? So there's a lot of overthinking. Give me the Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Now, there is an energy of still fighting for this and I do feel like Sagittarius this could be worthwhile because it feels like by, you know, continuing on to give this your, your every last shot, nine of wands, persevering, like putting in that energy and effort, it does look like this is something that can slowly rebuild. The three of pentacles is coming together, teamwork, collaborating, like minds coming together to fulfill a mission. So it does feel like Sagittarius, this could be worthwhile. This could be a really good thing and allowing you guys to come together, okay? As long as you give him, give that nine of wands energy. So again, let's see what's in the foundation. There's definitely something they're not telling you. But I feel like the reason could be because they don't they don't want to stir up things or they want to avoid confrontation. Yeah, Ace of Swords in the verse. So someone here is holding back a lot of important information, communication, because they feel like, um, well, they were in a wrong, right? They wronged you. They hurt you. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles in the verse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Two Wands. Now, you could be dealing with someone who's trying to make a decision. Two of Wands could be, you know, two, two opportunities, two things, two people. They're trying to make a decision. And this decision is regarding um, strategizing on maybe the next steps. There is some kind of strategy maybe even regarding communication because this is someone that's trying to find out information about you without asking you directly. So they may be trying to figure out you know, how do they come towards you? What do they say? Um, because there, there's a lot of back and forth. And I think this is someone who's just hesitant or feeling powerless with the strength in the verse, right? They feel like they can't accomplish. They feel like they're not good enough. But the energy is a seven of pentacles. So they do want to invest. They are thinking about their future, what that could look like. And they want to plant their seeds in this situation with you. They do see growth. They see opportunity here. So give me the energy of the high priestess with the knight of swords. Definitely something you're finding out. It could be regarding this person. It can also just be your energy, the magician in verse or the knight of wands in a verse. It feels to me like something here has not manifested and you're going to find out exactly why. Um, it feels like maybe you wrote this person off and thought they were being a trickster, thought they were being deceiving, but there could be more to that situation. It could be a lot more that does not meet the eye. And it could also explain why this person has been very in and out. Um, flaky with you, unreliable, okay? There's a, there's a secret. There's something that's being revealed. There's something that has been kept from you. Now, the Eight of Cups is here. Um, there's the energy of the King of Wands, which is you, and the Four of Pentacles in verse. So going back to, you know, having to walk away or leave something here. Some of you guys are having to walk away from a person. Others of you guys, you may be having to walk away from a situation that brought forth a lot of pain, emotional pain, sadness, disappointment. And that could be it. You know, the Eight of Cups could be walking away and letting go. Four Pentacles in verse, something that does not serve you anymore. Because Four Pentacles is the energy of holding and guarding and protecting. And, you know, you, you don't want to give up something. But in this case, there's something here that you have to give up and you have to let go. It would be wise to do so. Um, and it's something here about walking away from something that just isn't making you happy. So there is something here you're letting go because there's no sense in holding on to it so tightly. The anger, the resentment, the pain, um, because it only is holding you back, King of Wands and Verse. So again, there is clarity. There's communication coming in to explain why something may have happened in the past the way it did and again it's something here that you had no idea and i think that's going to allow for healing to take place between you and this person this connection because there's a lot that has been left unsaid and the information that's been left unsaid could be very helpful in you being able to recover and build this connection back so sagittarius that is what i'm seeing 
like share comment and subscribe take care